Amanda. It's time for the news on Razor's Top 5. First up, two private companies will be assisting the Singapore Civil Defence Force in handling the growing number of emergency calls. Staff at Lenta Ambulance and Unistrong Technology will be trained, like SCDF paramedics, to respond to emergencies. They were picked from six bidders that vied for the three-year contract. The new arrangement will start from June. Meanwhile, the Singapore Kindness Movement will be sending out reminders to Singaporeans to be more gracious. This year, students will be roped in to be kindest troopers ambassadors. They will encourage people to move to the back of buses and give up seats on public transport to those who need them more. The campaign called Kindest Bring It On will be launched on Saturday. More than 43,000 workers have signed up for the SPUR training scheme since its launch in December. SPUR stands for Skills Programme for Upgrading and Resilience. The Workforce Development Agency plans to increase the number of training places available to 222,000 this year. The Iron Charity is raising the alert about bogus fundraisers who are using its name to dupe the public. A group of youths have been asking for money, but the charity says it is currently not raising funds. And former television actor Lin Yisheng has been charged for not paying wages to 21 employees of his failed company Celebrities Holdings. Investigations show that Lin was the general manager. And residents at Pasir Street 11, Block 146 started the morning with a big bang. A rubbish truck on its usual rounds had overrun a grass verge and hit a tree and a lamppost. Meanwhile, all clothes dryers sold in Singapore will have to be labelled according to their energy efficiency from tomorrow. The scheme was introduced last year to allow consumers to compare the energy efficiency of different products. It also covers air conditioners and refrigerators sold in Singapore. And budget carrier AirAsia will be introducing at least three more routes between Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia this year. This includes Penang and Langkawi in Malaysia and Medan and Surabaya in Indonesia. AirAsia says the company is expected to carry 2 million passengers to and from Singapore in 2009. Meanwhile, coffee chain Starbucks is serving up affordable new morning treats to chase away those downturn blues. Starbucks Coffee's managing director Jeff Miller says they are always looking to give customers something special, comforting and familiar to help take their minds off the downturn. Razor TV finds out more. One hearty breakfast coming right up. And don't worry, the spread is actually more wallet-friendly than it looks. On Starbucks' menu tomorrow will be a new range of breakfast items. And the prices are competitive, with a bowl of oatmeal with honey going for just two ninety. Well, I think that everybody is looking for value in this economy, for sure. Um, the two hundred and ninety wasn't a necessarily a strategic move. It was an opportunity to, to look at what we offer in, in our breakfast platform and to say that we can offer a wide range of, of items that enable people to, to enjoy a, a breakfast um, item for as little as two ninety. For two weeks, customers can also enjoy a breakfast sandwich complete with a coffee at just five ninety. Other value for money savings include using the Espresso Passport or just bring your own tumbler where you can save 50 cents on each drink. For more on this story, read my paper tomorrow. And that's all for now. If you have any breaking news, photos or videos to share with us, email them to razertv at sbh.com.sg or you can MMS us at 7557. Also, do feel free to share your views and opinions with us on our Razer TV forum. See you again tomorrow from 2pm. Good night.